it's almost like being a little kid and f afraid of the boogeyman in the closet, but this boogeyman's real. It just globs the death out there. Al Walker has been diving oil rigs for most of his life. After thousands of dives, he knows them about as well as anyone alive. I've contributed my life to preaching to everyone how, how positive oil drilling has impacted the marine ecosystem here. But this, this is unacceptable. That is what makes this spill so heartbreaking for Walker. He's seen how rigs contribute to life here, providing artificial reefs for coral to live on. Now the leak from the Deepwater Horizon could be erasing years of good by wiping away that life. By now almost everyone knows what the oil looks like from the surface. We wanted to know what it looks like underwater. Splashing here 40 miles offshore, the images are heartbreaking. Oil so thick it blocks out almost all of the light below. Because of the darkness, I stayed just 10 to 15 feet under the surface, but I could see oil in every direction as far as I could look, up and down. We also dove an oil rig to check the ecosystem there. Scott Porter, a longtime diver who studies coral reefs, went along. When we first got in the water and we passed through that first 30 feet, um, what I noticed was a murky haze on the water that's usually not there. Now we'll have fresh water mixing that'll give us a haze, but this was like a chemical solution haze. Both men noted there were virtually no fish for the first 30 feet of the dive, and that is strange. Once we dropped out of that murk, there was life, abundant life. Still, all was not well, according to Walker. At 60 feet below the surface, we found these strange floating strands of what seems to be dispersed oil. Something I've never seen in diving in my whole life out here. These big snot balls. No, I never saw it in my life, ever. It's not just a, a normal algae bloom or something that gives out. Oh, no. There's nothing natural about what we dove in today. Just one week after the spill, Walker dove the same rig we dove this week. That day, he found oil billowing, blowing by him with the current. Even then, most of the oil was underwater, but not deep down, just to about 30 feet. Then he returned two weeks after the explosion and saw a large, thick oil plume at about 120 feet below the surface. NOAA has now confirmed the existence of those plumes as far as 142 miles away from the leak. The oil is transformed. I've seen it to where it's sticking to the camera lens and sticking to everything. Then I've seen it to where it's like a big fluffy type uh, uh, scenario. It's like real soft coming at you. Walker wants to share his pictures with the world, wants everyone to see what is at stake and what's happening beneath the surface. It's why he continues to dive despite his fear of what's in the water. It's me and a couple science buddies. We're out there swimming in the, in the toxins and because we care. Porter has a permit to study the coral and has been taking samples since the explosion, but it doesn't take a sample to declare how bad this really is. The stuff we saw today, I don't, I don't know of anything that would be able to live through that. And many things haven't. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press in the Gulf of Mexico.